the question for today is a 35 year old male presented with history of nasal bleeding there was petechia and purpura there was no family history of similar complaints lab investigations reveal normal platelet count and increased bleeding time and there was delayed clot retraction flow cytometry showed the following what could be your diagnosis glanzmann thrombasthenia bernard soulier syndrome von willebrand disease hemophilia so what you should remember is when you get any question based on bleeding or coagulation disorder remember superficial bleeding that is bleeding in the skin and the mucosa is seen in case of disorders of primary hemostasis that is when you have any abnormality in the functioning of platelets or the vessel wall you can have superficial bleeding so how do you assess whether your platelets are functioning properly or not how do you assess the function of platelet first as a part of a routine cbc you can analyze your platelet count then you have to look for the morphology of the platelet in a peripheral smear of course you have so many other tests but bleeding time is one of the time one of the tests which is used to assess the function of the platelet so these are the basics you have further tests as well right so usually when you have any disorders of platelet either quantitative or qualitative i mean quantitative means decrease in number qualitative means any functional defect so that can lead to superficial bleeding in the skin and mucosa and it can be associated with increased bleeding time right this must be clear so here you have bleeding in the skin and in the mucosa so it's basically a superficial bleed so you can have it could be an abnormality with the platelet could be a quantitative or qualitative so next how do you assess whether it is quantitative or qualitative quantitative means your platelet count will be low your bleeding time will be increased whereas in qualitative the count can be normal the function of the platelet is affected so your bleeding time is increased here your platelet count is normal your bleeding time is prolonged so you have to think in terms of qualitative defect in platelet for this you should know the function of platelet and how it helps in hemostasis so all these orange ones are platelet so your platelet has got two receptors glycoprotein 1b9 and 2b3 right so what is the function of 1b9 so your platelet has to adhere to the subendothelial collagen so this receptor is going to help in addition of the platelet see this is the receptor so this is going to help in addition of the platelet to the subendothelial collagen through the help of von willebrand factor right next is 2b3a so this receptor is going to help in aggregation of two platelets okay it brings two platelets together by means of fibrinogen so this blue beads are the fibrinogen so 1b9 helps in addition 2b3a helps in aggregation so this is what you should remember and defect in any of these can lead to prolonged bleeding time with a normal platelet count next is flow cytometry so divide the flow cytometry into four quadrants x axis and y axis and four quadrants like this so anything which is high up in the axis so anything which is far away from zero in the x axis is positive y is negative anything in this quadrant right anything which is far away in the y axis so here y is positive x is negative next here this is quadrant it's low on the x axis and y axis so it is both negative take this quadrant this is higher both on x and y so anything which comes in this quadrant is considered both positive so now go back to the flow so in flow you have the cd41 and cd61 so what is the 61 and 41 basically it's basically your glycoprotein 2b 3a receptors right so you have cells in this quadrant 3 so it's low in the x and low in the y axis so your cells are negative for this receptor so what is the defect when you have when you don't have this receptor so when you don't have 2b3a you have a disease called glanzmann thrombasthenia so your answer here is glanzmann thrombasthenia so one more clue is delayed clot retraction so this is how a delayed clot retraction appears you collect the blood and keep it in a test tube normally it will retract from the walls whereas in gt it will not retract because of the defective receptor your platelet is not going to aggregate okay so this is about your glanzmann thrombasthenia thank you